this is the logic analyzer i am using tla6402 logic analyzer it's from tektronics and here i have inserted <coughs> rope in what is this a a0 to a1 and yeah so here is a1 and 0 to 1 and this is the ground i have connected to one of the development board and 4 a0 sorry mm, a1 this is the 0 this 1 is 2 this 3 all right let's open this application hmm. <coughs> yeah we'll get something like this and if i click on setup we'll get this so here i have connected to a0 a1 a2 a3 let me select this a3 and i'll click on how do i click on control i have to click on control and select the others how do i do with one hand okay just a second Control, yeah. So here I've clicked on control and I have selected these four. And after selecting this, click on trigger. <coughs> Inside trigger, we'll have a bunch of options. So for now, <coughs> I've made only GPIO toggles. So what I'll do is I'll just select trigger on channel low or high and here I have to select to which I have connected so I have connected to A10123 so I'll, what I will do I will set 0 and yeah when it is high and then we click on waveform uh, data form L1 next to form 1 finish so here I need to add waveform by probe A1 0 actually we can <coughs> click on control and we can select all the 4 at a time but for now I am doing it one by one alright 0 1 2 3 and it's in nanoseconds let me make it to microseconds If I view, I don't want that. I view Yeah. So let me change this to one microsecond. And yeah. This is how my signal looks. So what I'll do is I'll you know make this trigger here. Okay, fine. So let me rerun it again. Uh, okay, I'll run it again. Two, 
All right. Not sure how to expand this, but yeah, this is basic <coughs> run, and you can get the signal. Okay, I have figured. So in setup, if we increase this time, we'll get long waveform. Okay, so now it's only 160 microseconds and if I rerun so I'll get a lot of time yeah there are a lot of options can explore 